Good evening, YouTube. Oh, we haven't started yet. Now we have. Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review of the Rhino. You have in the basement. We have a beer. This beer was sent to me by Lee M out of Alberta, so thank you very much, Lee M. Not the Lee you know from Beer Dudes United. No. Another Lee. The Lee from Beer Dudes United has had a beer mail for me since like May. That's, maybe maybe that would be one Lee, day. Lee Russell. The king of beer tube, yes. Damn right. This is 10.4% alcohol by volume. Oh. This is Big Rock Brewing, which is the biggest brewery that I know of, at least from Alberta. This is their Barrel Age series. This is a porter in a bourbon barrel. Now, we've actually had a bourbon barrel aged porter earlier tonight. And let's talk about how great that one was. It was. Uh, first rolled out in 2014, our bourbon barrels are back at work for this new offering. Beer aged in barrels takes on the rich flavors of the wood while, while also adapting the characteristics of the barrel's previous tenant. Single trip, ooh, single trip, so this is, this should actually have some nice flavors. Single trip Kentucky bourbon barrels made of oak have been used to cultivate this homegrown porter, aged for six months, then blended to a full body, deep brown to black. I, I would really like to know what happened to the ones that weren't added to the blend. Uh, How many malts? You said six, but what six did you read that? Six malts. He didn't, six finish, malts. He didn't finish the fucking Here's a delicious, bear. exotic, and extremely well-spoken brew. Now, I hear that the, these beers are some of Big Rock's best. Now, Big Rock is... Uh, you may have even had some Big Rock beers without realizing it. Big Rock is known for uh, Warthog Ale. They're known for the Grasshopper Wheat. Um, a gopher, a gopher lager. Uh, they are a, they're they're a regional brewery, meaning that they're a big craft brewery, but they're also available in a lot of places in Canada. This is apparently one of their best brews, like this this series. Uh, a lot of their beers are just solid, you know, just easy drinking beers. So if this is actually something different, that's uh, that's a big step in my opinion. And there is a cock on the label. It's a Big cock on this label. I mean, Greg might be turned on by this. There's a big cock on here. But, big cock. Oh, that's black. You don't see nothing. I don't want to be racist, but it's black. I'm starting to think that I'm going to like porters. Because... You're right, that's black. That's a deep, deep hue. Listen, Big stack crackle pop. I, Listen to that. That's like that's like uh, Rice Krispies right there. Oh, I, oh yeah, I hear it. <laughs> and you know what? Oh my God! It smells good. <laughs> it smells fantastic. So, so for you uh, now, uh, usually when we get together, we've been we've been together for a few hours. We've shared. This will be our fifth beer that we shared together. Uh, yeah, so so enough. we we don't we don't drink excessively, but um. Two of them were porters, and I, I you can you can see the similarities between this one and another barrel aged yeah. porter we had. I do think that you from from what we've had and from your reactions and from the smell of this, I do think that porters might be your style. I'm starting to think that you're right because this is fucking smells dynamite. So lots of chocolate. Uh, mm. There is coconut, but it's not. It's not like the last one we had. It's Ew. not fresh. It's, it's not like the roasted. coconut pie we had. No, it, it's That's roasted delicious. coconut. It's it's burnt coconut. It, it has that coconut scent to yes, it, but it's all it it's totally muted. Does. This one has a. Uh, this one has a. You know what? It has a dessert smell to it. It does. Oh, it, it's coffee, coconut, chocolate, and vanilla. It actually smells kind of like a. What's what's the word? Is it uh, Taramagouche? Is that the that, that 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 coffee cake? What's that coffee cake name? Uh, we have it any time. It's like a, a Chinese New Year and everything else. We have those cake that cake on Taramagouche. Is that it? Ah, tiramisu. Tiramisu. There you go. There you go. Taramadouche. Tiramisu. I, I'm not the most well. Ver I, I can explain beer. I'm not the most. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, it smells beautiful though. Uh, oh my god, that smells delicious. Coffee, 
coffee, coconut, <clears throat> vanilla, and chocolate. This is a very nice smelling porter. Now, I mean, it, it is a bourbon barrel age, but I'm not getting I'm not getting that oak tannin. I'm not getting leather. I'm not getting anything else you would normally get from uh, from from bourbon. I'm getting just coconut from the from the wood. I'm getting chocolate from the porter, and I'm getting uh, coffee and vanilla from the from the barrels itself. I'm starting to think that these bourbon barreled porters are pretty fucking much what I like. Because just by smelling it, I mean, this smells delicious. And you know what? If it smells delicious... It might taste delicious. It may. It's subjective. It may taste delicious. Let's try it. Cheers. 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 Let me be the first to say that this tastes delicious. Let me be the first to say, in the immortal words of a man that you've met before, Guy, this is a... Bonjour. A very, very dangerous beer. Very, very dangerous. It is. It's 10.4% alcohol. I would guess it probably at 7. There is an alcohol burn. Unlike <laughs> and unlike any of the other beers we've had, there is a, an apparent alcohol burn, but it's over 10% alcohol, and it's the only beer we've had that's over 10% you, alcohol. You would, you would think that at over 10%, there better be a burn, or you're fucked, because... Well, the thing, the thing with craft beer and the thing with the beer industry in general is breweries are getting really good at hiding the, the alcohol flavor. And there, I've had up to 16% alcohol beers that tasted like 5 or 6% alcohol beers. This actually does have a burn, but it mixes well. It's not, it's not like it overtakes or anything or makes you go, oh my god, what am I drinking? But it, it's there. It is there, and there is, for me personally, there is a different taste in this porter. Only because it's, it's sitting at 10%, and even without even knowing that it was at 10%, I would know it was high because I can feel the apparent burn on this one. This one has that burn and it has that that aftertaste. And as soon as I burp, now I I don't like I'm comparing gonna, gonna beers, feel. but uh, the other porter we had that this is comparing to because it was another barrel aged porter mm-hmm. was Great Lakes uh, Mocha Machine at eight point three percent. So two percent mm. less, two point one percent less if you're going to get to it. But that one was just coconut <clears throat> and chocolate. This one is coconut, chocolate, coffee, a dirty, dirty back end, vanilla. You're and getting that oakiness, and you burn. have a burn. You do have a burn on this one. But, I mean, you, again, you, you can't really hold that burn against it because it is 10% alcohol. And you, you would, 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 I think, would I think that burn is a 10% alcohol burn? Probably not because it kind of reminds me of, like, a 7% alcohol Euro lager burn. Almost like a, like a Fax Royal or something. Just just there's alcohol in it. It's not overpowering. You know what I find? When, when I drink a porter oh. now, as we've had a few tonight... When I drink the porter, when I take a sip of the porter and I smell it as I'm drinking, I'm kind of liking the porters. I, I'm just going to be honest with you. I really enjoy that smell, that aroma, that 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 taste as well, I'm this, drinking. This is it's what you, something that I, I, I enjoy. Think, I think you've even been there when I've had this argument at work with people before that say they don't like beer. There's a beer for everybody. There's a beer style for everybody. There's over 60 styles of beer. I mean, you can find something that you're going to like. Yeah. Be- I find beer to be the most versatile uh, beverage in the world. I mean, I've drank a lot of spirits. I've drank a lot of wine. I'm not a wine guy, but there are some wines I like. And I, I am a spirits guy, but there's some spirits I like and I don't like. I find beer to be the most versatile. You can use it as a food pairing. You can use it for anything. And there's just so many different flavors because it's not locked in. And even even within styles, I mean, this is a barrel aged porter. That was a barrel aged porter. You can already see just even the differences in two barrel aged porters that were in the same barrel. There's similarities, but they're different at the same time. They are different. And this one has a little. You know what? As I keep drinking this beer or this porter, it has a lot more burn to it than that if one. You, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because and it's only it, a two percent difference. It's a two percent difference, but it is a very I mean, you can notice it even fucking better. I mean, no fucking better. Is, it, is that even right? You can... It's a very abundant. There's a burn here on this porter. 
at 10%. Now, in in, in the immortal words of like Paul it. from B, PA Brew News, and you've met Paul once mm-hmm. or twice on the beer review, and uh, he wasn't at this year's festival. Hopefully he'll be at next year's. But um, this is a little bit thin. It, it It's a little thin. It has a little bit of a light body and a little bit of a light flavor. But, I mean, anything that's barrel-aged has a chance to be a little bit thin. But I, I just expected a little bit more heft from this because there was that heft in that. And I don't think it's fair that we drank this in the same night because, I mean, we're comparing this to that now. And where this is a really good beer, but it doesn't stand up to that one. <laughs> it doesn't stand up to that one because that was the greatest fucking porter we've had, or well, I've ever had, and Chad's ever had in the last two months. Because that one over there was delicious as mm, motherfucker. It's true. It, 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 was, it, was, it was so good that it's, it, you know what, and, and it, and it kind of is unfair at the fact that we had that one and then we're going to this one. But, however, there's differences and there's similarities. I mean, you can't, you can't fight that. No. I mean, this is good. Now, I, I this, really do this like this. This is delicious. Uh, I think maybe if I had had this... Uh, and this is would, the weird would it thing, matter right? if you had that one first before having that one? Well, that's what I was going to say. I don't know for sure. I, I, I do want to give this one a high mark, but I gave that one over a nine. I gave that one a nine five, and this oh, is a, this, this is this isn't a nine five type of beer. But would this be a nine beer if I hadn't drank that one in the night? It's possible. That's the thing, right? Um, Hold on. And, it was possible. It's possible. Maybe, maybe you should give it a nine. If it's possible? I, I, I don't know, though. I, I mean, and I, I get this. I get this, then, this, this, for those of you that don't know, this is the troll hand motion. <laughs> I don't know I've about gone, this I've gone trolling before. thing. What is trolling? I've gone before. I don't know. You shouldn't drink more than one beer in a night. It ruins your palate. Uh, if any of Eat you... Eat some pickles. Uh, I, 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 I am a BGCP, um, Beer Judge Certification Program, Certified judge, and I have judged at beer reviews. When you at uh, beer awards, sorry, when you judge at a beer awards, you could have up to sixty beers. So it's not like uh, it's not like. You what do you cleanse your palate with? When you're water and crackers, crackers. I would, crackers. I would suggest smelling maybe some coffee. Maybe perhaps having a pickle or two. A pickle or two. Uh, yeah, saltines are the are the major thing. Or, uh, or saltines bread. have no flavor. But they, bread, they yes, the, I can the see saltine, bread. saltines have no flavor. But if you chew them, you don't just swallow them right away. They do just kind of soak up anything that's in your mouth, especially the salted saltines. I get it. Um, Coca Cola. Yeah. Uh, or a fucking. I don't any, drink pop. Uh, uh, When's the last time you've pop. seen me drink pop? You work. You've worked with me for years. I don't drink pop. No, you don't. I know you. I know you don't. Which is funny that I have this and I don't drink pop. There's no fat there at all. It's no. This this is muscle. This this ain't. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this this is a this is a nice beer. I don't know where I would have put this beer because it is a very good beer. And when I think that this is from Big Rock, I think this is fucking delicious. It, it is delicious. <laughs> it is. When I think that this is from Big Rock, it gets more points too because Big Rock has made a lot of a lot of beers that were good, but they uh, you know if, for for lack of a better word, they were meh beers. You know they were good, but yeah. who cares, right? They're they're just solid beers and this is a beer that's above that so we got a brewed by a paul what's his name do you know paul i've never met the guys from brew uh from big rock i want to say gartro gotro paul gotro i i see paul paul you make a good porter this is a very good porter you um do. out of 10 out of 10 for yourself mm. Out of ten, I give this a eight point seven five. I really enjoy it. See, that's that. I'm I'm going between just a solid nine and an eight seven five. I don't know if this is what I would call world class, which is what I think nine and up is. I think this think, is a think very, about think of what you're rating on the alcohol BD uh, the uh, alcohol by volume on this one because uh, it's very high. However, it's fucking delicious. It is delicious. It is a so, very good dating beer. Don't compare it to everything else you've drank tonight, or don't compare it to anything else you've drank well, in the thirty-eight hundred. Well, that's the problem, right? I always have to compare it to the other thirty-eight hundred beers. I have to think, 
where does this sit to this beer that I gave this mark to? Where does it sit compared to this beer that I gave that no, mark to? Be subjective. It, it doesn't matter if you've given the same rating to another beer. Well, no, it, it's give not. It it's rating. not the same rating to another beer that bothers me. It's that is this beer worth that rating? Like you know, some beers I've given a nine, and after I've drank another beer that I thought about giving a nine to, I go, you that beer probably is worth more. It's one of those weird things. Um, so maybe the, we need to give it a higher rating, maybe out of 100, maybe an 88 perfect score. <laughs> this is a perfect beer, 87. Well, I mean, uh, no, or um, you can give it an 89. It's almost perfect. Uh, yeah, it's perfect. For, me, for, me, for me, a 9 and up is, is world class. Like, oh my god, I want to drink it every day. I don't think... I don't think this is, oh my god, I want to drink it every day, but I think it's delicious. Uh, I it is think, very delicious. I think I'll give it an 875. I think I'll go with the same as you. An 875 or a 10. 